In this screencast, we're going to look at how to schedule a video conference using the TMS uh, scheduling tool. Uh, this web-based app is very simple to use, and the URL to go to is tms.vc.central.sa.edu.au forward slash TMS. The credentials to get in are typically uh, your DEX uh, ID number as well as the associated password. And if you don't have one of those, you can get uh, what's called an Edu Portal account and password by contacting the DECD Customer Support Centre. Uh, with the scheduling a video conference, there really isn't too much involved. Uh, what you need to do is to consider firstly uh, that the title of um, the session, um, which would make sense to you and participants, um, the actual date of the session, um, the duration of the session, so if it's going to be a one-hour session, which is the sort of time which uh, we recommend as being an optimum time um, for a video conference. So it's the uh, date, uh, the starting time and the finishing time. And we do recommend that uh, you add a little bit of leeway at the beginning and at the end of the session to ensure that uh, uh, just in case uh, you go a bit longer than expected, uh, the video conference doesn't shut down. Uh, the second aspect, apart from... Uh, uh, choosing a date, for example, is to look at what features do you want within the video conference itself. And if we look down here, we can see we have what's called continuous presence, which means all sites which are in the scheduled conference will be seen on screen, and the site which is talking will move to a larger window within the screen. Um, or we can have what is called a voice switched conference, whereby uh, the person or the site which is speaking, they are the site which is seen by all. It's a matter of preference and uh, sometimes with very large conferences to have a continuous presence is quite difficult to see um, in smaller windows uh, who are at those sites. And once you've done that, you may also choose to record the session and uh, typically the recording um, is something which can be viewed and played and downloaded on an EduConnect connection. And we often recommend um, the content recorder uh, play and download visible to anyone um, as the option. So that's something to consider as well. Once we've done that, we really need to add our participants and we need to think about who's going to be in this video conference. And you need to include yourself um, as a, a participant as well. And so we're going to go to endpoints and rooms and we'll look for where the participants may be. So I'll schedule this one here, click on the right hand arrow so that moves um, that site to the right hand side. We also may wish to have a conference with the uh, Cooper PD Area School and just click on the right button and that moves it across to the right hand side. And we keep going as per doing that. Once we've done that, let's click the OK button. So we've got our participants and uh, we can see uh, by the yellow, yellow um, colour here that both those sites are free at the time. If one was already scheduled for another conference, it would appear as a grey or shaded out, indicating you can't include them in the conference. Once you've done that, you simply save the conference. And when you do do that, you'll be sent an email, an automatically generated email, stating that you've got a conference booked. This is the title, this is the date, this is the time it starts, the time it finishes, and these are the participants. It's being recorded, and it will give you a five-digit number, beginning with two numbers, a two and a nine. And it would be a good idea to let participants know up front that uh, if they are late for the conference, um, for whatever reason, they can dial into the conference using this five digit number. So it's two nine followed by three other digits. Just use that and click call and you can join a conference late. For those who are ready and able to take the conference and their video conferencing unit is switched on, the video conferencing bridge will dial you automatically. And all you need to do is to unmute your microphone because they are all muted by default.